Hey guys, it's me, Sydney Marie. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make the best chocolate chip cookies in the world. I love chocolate chip cookies, but 90% of the time they are far too sweet. These ones are just right where literally you could eat the whole batch and not get sick. So first you're gonna need sugar. Next you're gonna need flour. And then cinnamon. I add cinnamon to almost everything I bake. I always think it brings out the flavor. Also salt. Baking soda, not baking powder. Make sure you get the baking soda. Vanilla, butter, just one stick. And of course, chocolate chips, cause yeah, I mean, an egg and some brown sugar. I actually had to climb up to get this. It was on top of my shelf. I should have added that. So first we're gonna add in eight tablespoons of butter. I like to put my butter in the microwave for 10 to 20 seconds just to get it really soft and mushy. You wanna be able to mush it up with a fork really easily. You can also leave the butter out on your kitchen counter for a full night. Whatever works. Just make sure it's not liquid or else your cookies are gonna come out like pancakes. Next, you're gonna add in a half cup of white sugar. And now a fourth cup of brown sugar. And now you're gonna mash it. I like to use a fork. You can also put it in a mixer and mix it all together. My mom always told me that anytime you ever had emotions, whether you're mad, sad, or happy, to always put it into baking. So that's why most of the things I do are by hand with a fork and never a mixer. After you've gotten it all mixed together, you wanna add in one egg. Some people like to fold in their eggs. I usually just mix. Fold is just a fancy word for scooping from the bottom and folding it over on top. You're literally mixing from the bottom. Next, you're going to add in vanilla, and you just need a teaspoon, or you can add more. It's completely up to you. It's however vanilla-y you want it. Next, you're gonna add in a half teaspoon baking soda and a fourth teaspoon of salt. I couldn't find my fourth teaspoon, so I'm just filling up a half teaspoon halfway, because that's fractions. Next, I like to add in a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon. I usually do like three-fourths of a teaspoon-ish. It just depends on how cinnamony I'm feeling that day, but cinnamon brings out the chocolate and it is probably the best thing in these cookies. After that, you're gonna add in one and a half cups of flour. I am using a half cup because I couldn't find my cup. I really need to get more mixing cups and bowls. My life is a disaster. So this is where I start getting frustrated with my fork and I decided to use my hands. Of course, a mixer is gonna get better results, but uh, who doesn't like using their hands when baking? I have always used my hands in baking. Yes, they are clean. And I don't know, everything just is far more fun for me when I use my hands. Now, when I'm making it for other people, I usually don't use my hands. That's just a thing. But a fork takes a long, long time. And I don't think people realize how long stuff takes when you don't have a mixer, which is why people buy mixers. But I don't want a mixer, so yeah. After you've got the dough to this nice, smooth consistency, you're gonna add 3 fourths cup of chocolate chips. I'm using dark chocolate, but you can use semi-sweet, milk chocolate, whatever you are feeling, butterscotch, it doesn't really matter. A chip is a chip and it's whatever flavor you want. Again, I am using my hands because mixing is just better with your hands, in my opinion. Now that we've got everything mixed together and the dough is ready, we are going to preheat the oven to 350. Actually, you should probably do that beforehand. I just forgot. Now don't mind my baking sheet. It has been covered in chocolate from cookies from earlier today. 
But what you're gonna do is you are going to roll the cookie dough into little balls about the size of the palm of your hand. I have little hands, so this batch makes about two dozen cookies, maybe a little bit more. For a really tall person, it might make a little less. But you wanna make balls about the size of the palm of your hand and then flatten them down just a little bit. That way they're not like pancakes, but they're not just globs. After you're done with that, you wanna set it in the oven and put the timer on for about 10 minutes. You can do nine minutes, you can do 11 minutes. I wouldn't go past 11. You want them to be soft and gooey when they come out. They are not gonna look done, but I promise you that they are. I always do mine for 10 minutes and they come out amazing. I really hope you guys enjoy this cookie recipe as much as I do. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you think and if you want me to post more recipe content like this. I absolutely love baking and I hope you guys enjoy. Love you.